morning and welcome to season four of Superior Angling TV. We are up here on the world-renowned Laxua Lake in Ontario, ice fishing for walleyes with our buddy Troy from Minoga Lodge. It's gonna be a fun day. It is, yeah, we got here at an early start here on Loch Sewell. We're fishing a spot. We always have to remember when we're on this body of water that there's a lot of current, a lot of movement with the reservoir. So, you know, it's good to tread lightly and check your ice as you move out. Yeah, yeah, we drilled a couple holes on the way out here. We're kind of fishing a pinch point. Again, this is a moving water, the English River. Mo lots of moving water, you have to be safe. We have our striker ice suits on. We're, you know, we're, we're checking ice, we're being conscious of, of, you know, thin ice spots, you know, places on the map that look like it could be dangerous. So, but yeah, we're excited. This is, a, I mean, a fantastic walleye fisher. You do a lot of guiding out here for walleyes in the summertime. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Spend a lot of time on lax soil guiding for walleyes, yeah. Walleyes and, and muskies in the fall. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're, there's not a ton of people that ice fish this, mainly because of the treacherous ice conditions. Yeah, you yeah, have just, uh, you know, navigation, travel, uh, ice safety is one of the biggest concerns. Yep, yep. Yeah, but we're being safe. There's a lot of walleyes to be caught in this system. Stick with us, it's gonna be a good one. Oh, fish, big fish. Oh my goodness. Big fish, big fish. Now that's a sweet October muskie. Fish, 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 fish. That's a big Atlantic, boys. We got our box of Buzzdos and Tillies here. These are gonna be good, but this is gonna be a, a good color up here on, on Laxwell. A little bit stained water, so I like that bright orange. Um, but we're gonna, these lures make noise. Like you rip these about, you know, 30 feet down there, you can hear it from on top of the ice. So a very loud bait that's gonna attract these fish. And Laxwell is a little bit deeper of a bite in general, you know, around Duluth and a lot of places. Uh, even Mille Lacs, you know, you're fishing shallow first ice, early ice, December. You're, you know, 5, 10, 15 feet. Here it's a little bit deeper of a bite, you know, 25 to 35, maybe 36 feet is, is the depth that you fish. So a little bit deeper. So we're going to utilize these baits to get down there, make some noise. You know, these tillies are going to be good, are going to be good baits too. A little bit, a little bit heavier, they're going to fall a little bit, but um, all these baits have, have rattles in them. They're gonna attract these fish and great colors. Phantom lures, check them out at Marine General. They got a good selection of them. This white, white and pink, that's gonna be a good bait, I bet. So we're just gonna switch it up, try to find a color that they that they like and a kind of a, a presentation and hopefully put some fish on the ice. Jeez, that's a good fish. <laughs> that's a good fish. That's He's got the brakes on, that's heavy. It just pounded that buzz though. Let's get his head started. I have too much ice in my hole, I can't see. It's a good fish though. It's a good fish. Stay buttoned, baby. Stay buttoned, baby. It's gonna be a good first fish of the day. It's gonna be a good first fish of the day. There she is. Look at that. Good morning from Lac Sewell. That's what I'm talking about. And look at how she ate that bait absolutely down its throat. That's a healthy fish. I mean, just the thickness on that fish, probably 21, 22 inches, but that buzz though is gone. That's what I like to see. Boom, that took about five minutes of fishing and we are on the board. I am gonna need to get pliers because it engulfed that. How deep are you in that hole there, Troy? 33. 33. It's deep, it's fun fishing up here. I mean, it's 
Back home around Duluth, we're fishing such shallow water, and it's nice up here. Here comes one right now. There it is, nice. That feels good. I feel oh, good one, bud. All right. It's nice. You can actually get some fight out of the fish. <laughs> you know, back home in the St. Louis River and whatnot. You know, we're fishing three, four, five feet of water. Here in 36 feet, this one's got some weight to it. And this is on that Phantom Lures Buzz though, the size 50. No bait, no nothing. Yeah, good slow head shakes. What are we gonna get here? Get that out of there. Oh yeah, yeah he's fighting, he's fighting. <laughs> Feels like a good fish. Oh yeah, that's a nice walleye. He doesn't wanna come up. Wax Sewell. Walleyes, look at that fish. That's a beauty. Yeah. Look at oh, that yeah. fish, guys. Nice grab. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> She's posing for the camera oh, for yeah. us on that buzz, though. Look at that. How much fun is that? That's a good looking fish. That is. And that is. And then, again, I've, I grew up, right, I fished like a lot when I was a kid with dad and grandpa, but I haven't been up here in, you know, 10 years for walleyes. I mean, what? how does this compare to your average size? Uh, in this spot here, this time of year, this is about the size of fish we're looking for. A little bigger, a little smaller. Yeah. Um, this spot does produce some good fish. Yeah. Problem is, you always got to wait for good ice for, you know, fishing parts of Lac Sewell or places that flow in. Yep. Yep. Yeah, and I remember, you know, as a, as a kid being up here, we catch tons and tons of fish a day. You know, we weren't getting getting monsters, but the, the numbers up here is just what's incredible about this lake. Look at that. Yeah, I mean, even 34, 35 feet of water, I mean, they still release good, you know. Yeah. We're, we're taking it slow on these fish, and, you know, there's, if we did notice, note that these fish were not releasing well, uh, like, we'd stop fishing this deep. But these fish are releasing perfect. There's no harm, harm done to these fish. Phantom lures buzzed though right there. That's all it takes. Nice rattle on that thing. No minnows, no nothing required. Boom, walleye, there we go. <laughs> Bam. When we care about something, it shows. To help protect these things, call on the knowledge and experience of a local independent insurance agent that you know and trust. Some things we just can't afford to lose, and that is why we exist, because the worst brings out our best. Holden Insurance, Duluth and Superior. Everybody, it's time to go ice fishing and no place better to shop than Marine General. Ice tents, augers, fish finders and underwater cameras, rods and combos, boots, gloves, jackets and bibs. And the best prices anywhere. Marine General, London Road in Duluth. Come on in to Marine General and get outdoors with us. This winter, take charge on the ice with the Phantom Lures Budzo. Available in three sizes, ranging from one-fifth to three-eighths ounce, the Budzo is ideal for every fishing scenario. With its internal rattle and 12 vibrant fish-catching colors, this lure is sure to be your top bait on the ice. Ideal for big walleyes in the shallows, aggressive trout out deep, and slab-sized crappies in the basin, the Budzo is a proven fish-catching machine. Check them out online at phantomlures.com or in-store at Marine General in Duluth today. Now through March 29th, take advantage of rebates up to $3,000 on select Lund boats from RJ Sport & Cycle located in Duluth. We sell everything from fiberglass ties and Pro-Vs, perfect for the big water and space for the family, to tillers, side councils, pontoons, and much more. Our friendly and knowledgeable sales staff is here to answer all your questions and to help get you into your next Lund boat. Visit us in-store or online at rjsportandcycle.com today. Yeah, so where we're fishing is, uh, is a bottleneck area where it flows uh, between one part of Lac Sewell and the other. And uh, quite the current area, and, uh, quite the migration area. Um, Today we started on this spot around 16 feet to start with shallow and worked our way out at the same time we were checking for ice because, well, it's a big safety run out here on Black Sewell. And uh, as soon as we started fishing, we started marking hole, or as soon as we started checking depths, we started marking fish. And, uh, oh, here's one coming up right here. Oh, got him. Take 
taking my time with them. We're fishing a little deeper here off a drop off. Yeah, I caught him on this, uh, what is this, the quarter ounce, the tilly, and I, some of the fish were hesitant to bite, so I tipped it with a minnow head in the middle, in the treble hook here, in the back, in the back single hook of the treble, and I uh, do that just to coax him in, and uh, it worked. Beautiful axle walleye, <laughs> minus the growth. <laughs> Oh, geez. Done. Nice. Look at that. Ooh, that feels big. That feels good. I'm gonna mark them out of there. And these fish are starting to come alive right now. This is fun. I love catching them out of deeper water. And by deeper, I mean anything deeper than 10 feet. You get such a fun fight out of them. Look at that. This is that sinker rod's outside eye. Perfect action for these fish. And again, yeah, that's nice walleye. Look at that. Look at that walleye, guys. Unbelievable. Just the average we've seen today is just solid. And that's a buzz, though, right in the corner of its mouth. And let me tell you, when these fish, your active fish down there, they do not hesitate one bit. They come in and slam this thing. No bait, no nothing needed. That natural vibration. And what I like best about these buzz, though, is they have a slower fall than other brands. We pinned them good. Um, a little bit slower fall than other brands. And not too slow though, we can still fish this in deep water. This is a size 50. So it's the smallest size they make of these, and, but it has a nice slow fall that really attracts these walleyes in. Look at that fish. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous winter black sewell walleye. Let's get her back. So even though this isn't the specific lake your lodge is on, all these lakes are connected, and I mean, this is your home body of water. Yep, yep, yep. I uh, grew up at the fishing lodge there, and this is, uh, you know, I've never fished anywhere else other than, you know, Minnetaki, Abram, Pelican, Botsford, and Laxul. You know, never really fished outside of, you know, our home water just because, well, why go anywhere else when you're already here? <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, there's really no no need to. And, you know, out of all those lakes, I mean, Lac Sewell definitely carries the, the heaviest, heaviest name, but I mean, these other lakes that, Got, oh, oh, he missed them. He just missed them. These other lakes that you mentioned have a great uh, walleye population as well. Yep, yep, they're all part of the, you know, same uh, river system, you know, the English River, it all flows together, it's all connected. Um, you know, each body water has its, you know, little different features than the other, little difference, but uh, all of them are excellent fisheries. I mean, I remember coming up here as a kid, I mean, we'd catch, I mean, it's nothing to catch a hundred dollars a day for a person out here in the, in the summertime in, in a boat. I mean, fishing is just absolutely fantastic. And if you know, if you're looking for that, you know, kind of the, that one big trip you take of a of a year, I mean, Laxul is definitely a place that a lot of people go. Yep. And being that you know, there's really uh, not much lodging or accommodations on Laxul. I mean, majority of the resorts are on Minnetaki, Abram, or Pelican, and uh, we, we you know we travel by boat, or if the water is not high enough to run the falls which are fairly treacherous, we do trailer over to the couple of boat launches that access Lac Sewell. Uh -huh. lots, of, lots of good fishing to be had, lots of great water, and I am excited to be on this legendary lake here today. Got him, that's big. Got him? That feels good, that feels good. That feels good. That feels good. Yep. That's a big mark on the graph, man. I'm just taking it super easy on him right now. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a big walleye. This is gonna be a big walleye. I had to coax him, I had him up, and he went back down. He came up again. This is gonna be a big walleye. You see it? I didn't see the I fish. just got a glimpse of it, I couldn't Did tell. I, I couldn't tell. Oh, nice, nice. That's a good walleye, eh? Yeah, yeah, solid fish. <laughs> oh, baby. This is what it's all about, man. Black Sewell through the ice. Oh. Like, He's you have fun. so much fun up here in the summertime, why not come do this in the winter? And like, these fish are hungry, man. They're hungry. This is a good walleye. It is a good walleye. Come on, I just wanted to get you, girl. We're gonna get a picture of you and send you back down the hole. Nice fish. Oh yeah, there's his head, there's his head. He's up. Look at that. Look at that, guys. That 
It's, it, it's chunky. Black sewer walleye. I mean, every <laughs> fish has been, I mean, this is a that's, a, that's a solid, you know, respectable 22, 22 and a half inch fish all day long. Yep. I mean, super chunky. And they are just so spunky too, huh? Yeah, just flawless too. Look at the colors. I mean, yeah. It's clean. It doesn't get any prettier than that. Yeah. Black sewer, guys. What a special, special place. Back she goes. That's awesome. What a day, man. Catching, catching walleyes like that. Right there. That is the magic lure, magic color. It's up here in the wilderness. You know, we wanted to come out here and get on a, a walleye bite for numbers and kind of be all alone. You know, you can go and get on a good numbers bite on Red Lake and, and whatnot, but there's so many people. We're up here in the wilderness. We're all alone. We can hear a few snowmobiles in the distance, but I mean, there's nobody around us fishing. Tons and tons of structure. There's kind of endless opportunity and potential up here. So, I mean, what a what a day we've had. We're gonna stick it out until dark, and hopefully we see a few more of those because those are those are fun fish, man. I mean, catching those out of 30 feet of water. That's a that's a riot. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Fish above me. What the heck is that? He's gonna eat too. Got him. <laughs> he came in way above me. That was incredible. He came, he appeared out of nowhere, like probably three to four feet off bottom. I haven't seen a fish or a walleye come in that high yet today. Yeah, it feels like a decent fish. And I reeled up and he just went after it and just smoked it. Here he is right here. Yeah, that's what, we're, that's what we're talking about, man. Look at that. Just nailed that lure. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. Belly was sliced open by one of these big laxual muskies, I presume. But look at that. <laughs> he hit with aggression. That's why you just got to pay attention and be reactive. I mean, you see a mark, look at that. And again, if that mark was 10 feet up, I would not reel up to it because I'd, I'd know it was a, a cisco or a, a herring, but it was about two to three feet off bottom. What the heck, you know, reel up to it and bam, this is the result right there. That's what we're after. That's what we like to see. Thank you, big girl. Yeah, again, that's just on this rattle bait. So there's a, you know, quite a few manufacturers of, of baits like these. This is the Phantom Lures Buzz though, but we are not tipping this with bait. In fact, if you put a minnow head on there, it's gonna kill the action of this lure. So on your other baits, like a Tilly or a Jigging Wrap or whatever brand you guys use, yeah, you can put a minnow head on that. And that's what Troy's been doing today. But on these rattle baits, like, you know, that, that have more of a, a minnow profile that are designed when you pull them up to vibrate, a minnow head's gonna kill that action. So no minnow, that's better. That's a walleye. Yes. Got him. That fish hit big. What do we got here? This is gonna be a good one. It's just dead weight. Oh my goodness. That seems pikey. That seems pikey. <laughs> My lure is just buried. It is a pike. I'm surprised it hasn't broke off yet. That's a gator. Look at that. <laughs> to say we got lucky that it didn't break off. There you go. Oh, They're yeah. starting to turn on here. Yep. That's yep. about two in about three minutes now. Yeah, turn on, turn on, getting better here, getting more towards that evening. Yeah. Problem yeah. is this time of year we're running out of daylight early. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good for the frying pan. That's a good eater. Yeah. Yeah, that's a solid, I don't know, 14, 15 inch fish. Yeah, she'll feed. Probably looks a little bit smaller because look at the size of those mitts. He's yeah. Big hands. <laughs> that's actually a nice walleye. Yeah, I usually, I usually dwarf every fish I get my photo taken with. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Well, That's the wife funny. would be happy. Bring home something to eat. Yeah. Hey, nothing wrong with nothing wrong with those. Definitely. Yeah. All day. Come on. All day. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Got him. Yes. He took a little coaxing, but we got him on. This fishing is pretty incredible right now. This last light walleyes. Oh yeah, that's a nice walleye. That's a good eater right there. You know where they're T-boning that bait. They are hitting it with aggression. And I haven't, <laughs> I haven't changed lures all day. 
it's not too often when I go the whole day using the same lure. And yeah, we're gonna play selective harvest on that fish and keep him, but good. It's, it's turning on, this is fun fishing. This is fun fishing. This week's health tip is brought to you by St. Luke's, the patient above all else. My name is Dr. Heather Buchholz, here with St. Luke's Dermatology Associates, here with today's health tip. I'm here to talk about some sun protection and some considerations for when you're out fishing. And we see a lot of skin cancer here in our clinic, so definitely protect yourself from the sun. Probably the most helpful thing would be a wide brim hat, something that covers your ears. We end up cutting a lot of little skin cancers off the top of the ears and on the nose. Um, and long sleeves are really important and it can be very hard to keep sunscreen on, but I would definitely apply it when you're fishing because of the reflection off of the water surface. So it's good to protect yourself from the sun with the sunscreen, sunglasses, um, and remember to reapply every like two hours at, at the minimum for sun protection. At Eskimo, we have the tools to help you enjoy your time on the ice. If you're looking for a lighter, faster, smoother auger, check out the Pistol Bit. Weighing only four pounds and optimized for efficiency, the Pistol will maximize the life of your cordless drill battery, cut quickly, and easily re-drill old holes. Thanks to its stable centering point, check out the Pistol and our full line of products at GetEskimo.com. Protect your investments this winter with an enclosed trailer from Wittis Trailer Sales, located in ESCO. We also sell cargo trailers, utility trailers, snowmobile trailers, and much more. Did you know we stock a full line of Heinecker snowplows? While you're here, shop the largest selection of Mahindra tractors in the area. Don't forget about our service center, ready to tackle jobs of any size. Wittis Trailer Sales in ESCO, where customers become friends. Oh, here we go, here we go. This fish is going to eat. Got him. He thunked it. He thunked it. Those fish that come in high, you know they're super active and aggressive. And more times than not, they're going to eat. That's a beautiful walleye. That's a beautiful walleye. Look at how golden that is. Absolutely inhaled that buzz though. It is gone. G-O-N-E, gone. Ah, oh, my hand is sore. No. I need pliers for this one too. Look at that walleye, guys. Dark, pretty. It's going back. That's a slot limit fish. That's what they're trying to protect out here. No problem releasing a fish like that. That is fun. And this afternoon has been off the wall. Ridiculous with the Amona fish. That looks like a big old pike. Oh yeah. Big pike, big pike. Big pike. Let's see what this is. He was way high. I don't even think he knows he's hooked. Big pike on that one. There's a bunch of tulipies and stuff at, you know, 20 to 25 feet. This mark was up at 10 feet. So I know and it was all alone, which signals to me it's not a tule or anything like that. It's a game fish and reeled up and whack, big pike. How big, I don't know. That water's bouncing in the hole pretty good. This has just been off the wall fishing. And we're not even done yet. We still have five minutes of daylight and I'm hoping a big wall ice to come. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's a walleye. That's a walleye. This fish was eight feet under the ice in 26, 27 feet of water. That blows my mind. I'm like speechless right now. I have never seen anything like that in my life. A suspended walleye 20 feet off bottom. That's just unheard of. And look at how beautiful and pristine and gorgeous that fish is. And it choked that buzz though. I keep saying it over and over, buzz though, buzz though, buzz though, but that's truly what it's all about today is this bait. Magical, magical, big walleye, lax wintertime, done. 
Got him. Oh, buddy, Grant, what do you, you have? Come in here. I got it's a good fish. Have? That looks big. She's tangled on the tree. That looks big. Uh oh. Uh oh. There we go. All right, we're good. This is last light. Like, this is it. This looks big. This is a nicer fish. This looks big. We've kind of gone through heartbreak. We've lost a couple of big ones. Look at those head shakes, man. This is going to be big. Oh, here he is. Come on, what do we got? What do we got? There's his head right oh, there. Oh, man. Look at this, guys. <laughs> Look at that walleye on the tilly, on the phantom lures tilly, right on the tip of the nose here. I don't want to steal your thunder. That's a big <laughs> fish. That's nice. a big fish. That is why you stay out here till dark. You come to Lac Sewell, like you just fish hard, you know, I mean, work and find these good areas and it all pays off right there. I mean, what a fish. Yeah, beauty fish. Hooked him right in the upper lip, too. Let's get him in there. Getting that. cold here in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> what a beauty, man. Look at that. I mean, that's a solid, I don't know, 25 incher all day long. Yeah. Nice and fat. And I mean, just what a what a day. What a day we've had. Oh, just fishing outside. We're blessed with some nice weather. We can fish outside. We don't need heat going. I mean, yes, it's cold now, but I mean, just what a what a day we've had catching these walleyes from Troy, Kevin and I. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.